Now, a post-holiday surge of cases sent several school districts scrambling to keep up with the spread of the virus. Some, including Albany, even sending students home to learn remotely. Today, students returning to the classroom with the help of a state-promoted testing program. News 10 ABC Stephanie Rivas reporting live in the studio tonight with more on the early results of that program. Stephanie. Trisha and Lydia, this new strategy looking to keep kids inside the classroom even after being exposed to COVID-19. Administrators seeing it as a potential solution here. As for one local mom of three, a chance for relief after a very difficult year. I have been through 12 quarantines. As of this point, the first one started November of 2020. Danielle Fontaine is a nurse practitioner at Albany Medical Center, and those quarantines have disrupted her work. It's been a lot. But she says test to stay may be a saving grace. If they test negative, they can return back to their classroom as opposed to staying home for the time frame that they, they had to. The city school district of Albany is following suit with the same process. Superintendent Kawita Adams says the district went fully remote starting on January 5th. We had to go to distance learning because we had a number of staff members who were out and we needed to be able to cover classes. Starting today, the district is switching to the five day quarantine for all students except those in pre kindergarten and adding the State Department of Health's recommended test to stay protocols. The State Department has us on a schedule of receiving those test kits. So with that and those protocols, we feel that it really does help us. Gilderland Superintendent Dr. Marie Weil says this process is proving to be helpful. We have 181 students uh, since we began test to stay uh, two weeks ago who were able to be in school who otherwise would have been out of school um, uh, under quarantine. Superintendent Weil says most parents like Danielle have been pleased with this new program. The only issue has come up with the quarantine not changing for after school activities. If they have um, an after school sport or ski club or intramural or chorus or music, they cannot partake in those activities. The Department of Health says test to stay only applies to the classroom and kids still have to quarantine outside of school instruction, even if they test negative. The Gilderland superintendent, though, hoping the department will reconsider that recommendation so kids can keep up on those social interactions as well. In studio, Stephanie Rivas, back to you.